I would like to introduce Dr. Thumb and his group of students who are going to talk about one of um, one of our let me back up one of our district goals is enhancing the student experience, and I can think of no better experience that some of our students have than the World Challenge. Uh, I would like to begin by saying that Real Challenge really serves as an example of what we're doing at the high school right now. We're kind of reimagining the experience that high school students have. The goal is working with the teachers, the administration, to create opportunities for students to grow their capacity to perform kind of on a big stage uh, and to perform uh, in a task where they solve open-ended and complex problems where they have to pull uh, knowledge that they, they learned and experiences and collaborate and use the 21st century skills that we've all heard so much about over the last 10 years. And the World Challenge really serves as a, a great example where students have to employ all that they've learned through their life and work with others. Uh, I'm going to allow the students to speak for their experience and hopefully uh, you'll see that shine through. I think the service project was really eye-opening for all of us. There was one day that we kind of finished our work for the day and the four of us that spoke Spanish a little bit went up over to uh, one of the women that was kind of sitting off to the side with some kids and we were making small talk and she asked us where we were from and we told her the United States and she kind of looked over at the kids and she whispered to them, tell them that you're going to go there someday and we all just kind of looked at each other and just like, like oh my god, <laughs> you know, it's things you don't even think about growing up in Ramsey because we are so um, like blessed with the privilege we have here that I think going there was um, such an eye-opening experience for all of us. We kind of talked about our trek before, um, about how uh, the top of the track was 16,000 feet, and I know um, a lot of people in our group had issues with altitude sickness, so it was really tough for our group, um, Sammy in particular. Uh, um, I think one thing that stood out was on the last day of the track, we were all so excited. So when we got to Croyo, which is where R&R &R was, we settled down and we tried to figure out where to go to eat. And we just like, as a team, went to go explore. And I think that was the most rewarding thing because we went through so much through like the first uh, week or week and a half. And just going to Corico and relaxing as a team was just so fun. And it just really brought us together. So we built um, a house in La Paz. And um, it was for this nice family. Um, what, the woman we built it for, her name was Maria Theodora. You can see her in the second picture there. She was on a wheelchair, so our ho the house we had to build had to be wheelchair accessible. And um, we got to meet her family. We became really close with them, like in the picture of them all standing there. That was like them, and they were so sweet to get to know. The family, they wanted to all like go on a line and say stuff they took from this project. And one of like the things that stuck with me the most is, um, they were so glad that we brought smiles and laughter into their home, and that just like touched my heart because like even though we built this woman at least half a house, another group came in to finish. It just like she took our smiles away the most, and that just meant a lot. This was a really special day for me because this was my leadership thing. So we had decided that on the last day of the project that we would um, interact with the community and all the kids that lived in that area um, of the house. So on the last day, we had brought um, soccer balls for all the little kids that um, lived in that area. And it was really special to see. We all lined up, all the kids lined up from like high order to like the smallest to largest. And um, we each passed them a soccer ball and each kid had like the biggest smile on their face and it was the cutest thing ever. The little girls, we painted their nails and they didn't speak Spanish because they spoke native language, but even though like we had like a huge language barrier, we still like got smiles out of them, and we played soccer with them, and it was fun. One day, our chef, I think he was Aurelia, the one who cooked for us, she like invited us to come to her house, so a bunch of us got to go to her house and cook with her at her house, and like meet her family, and it was like all of her kids, and her mom, and her brother, and her brother's kids, and it was like a whole family inside of their community, so it was kind of cool to get to see like where they lived, and like how they interact with each other. It was like the weirdest thing ever, but it was also <laughs> the best because the hospitality that they had for us, even though they had so little, was like incredible. The um, soccer game, um, it was Bolivar versus Ecuador. Ecuador. And that was really fun because we all got to like sit together and watch this soccer game. And a lot of us like soccer, so it was, it was a nice mix. So let me just start off by saying this trip was awesome. Just, like, just super cool. And they were 
were just so thankful for it that they um, invited us down and cooked us a meal, and it was probably one of the best meals like I've ever had. And my dad's a chef, so like that's a lot. <laughs> um, their the food was just so good, and they don't have much to work with, like because they're the hike down was like an hour or something, so they're an hour away from like anything that they can like access for the like, food and stuff. But the meal was honestly insanely amazing, and just to see how thankful they were for like everything we did was just so rewarding, and it just. It was so nice to just see how thankful they were. It was tough work, for sure, but you just looked up and you're like, damn, that is, that is worth the, uh, the journey over here. We got to visit an orphanage, and originally we um, thought that we were going to see kids in our project phase, but then we realized that we weren't. So we worked really well with um, our in-country agent, Daniela, and she set up for us to go see kids from an orphanage that was just like off the street in La Paz. And going there and seeing their faces when we brought them um, jump ropes and bubbles and balloons and soccer balls, they were so happy. There was this one kid in particular, Marcus, who would not let go of the soccer ball. Like anyone would come up to ask him, and he would not let go of it. He just smiled and he went and hugged each individual person who walked in. Um, he was just so thankful, and just seeing all the kids have such a fun time with like basically like the simplest toys was just insane to watch. Oh, I just want to add to that. As soon as we walked in, like, all of their faces lit up, and something that I remembered was this little girl I was making, like, string friendship bracelets with, and she, I was helping her, and after she made it, she was like, in Spanish, she said, it's for you. And that just kind of stuck with me, and I'm always going to, like, keep that bracelet. But, uh, <laughs> these kids were cute, so. <laughs> One of the days of our service project, Literally all day, I think all I did was move bricks and move buckets full of dirt for the entire day. But I went back to the hospital and I texted my mom, like, this is the best day of my life because it was just one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had. Seeing how other people live, it's like, you can't even imagine. And it was just really cool to see that and how much we helped them and how big of an impact we had on these families. One of the things that the families like said to me that really uh, hit home was she said that um, she was so happy to see people like giving her kids all this love because they don't like get a lot of that because the kids that we worked with had disabilities. So that really was like nice to see. Um, and another thing that stood out to me about this service project is, is because, I mean, we're all friends, but normally we're all messing around with each other and just hanging out. But when we were at this service project, it was amazing how we really worked together to complete this goal. Like when we first got there, we saw the bricks. We didn't know what to do with them. There were so many. But then we were able to work together and complete it by the end of the day, and it was really fulfilling, I think. We had six groups, as you saw. There were over 90 students that went. Only half of the high school is eligible, so it's, it's approximately 20% of that eligible group that went. So uh, it's just an amazing experience, and looking forward to the next one. And thank you to all the students. Thank you for listening. Go Rams.